Hey loves, welcome to another video. My name is Adi Salami and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to create and verify your Amazon KDP account from anywhere in the world. And I'm also going to be showing you how to have your tax information should you qualify for treaty. Now, if that sounds like something you are interested in, then sit back and keep on watching. So you're probably wondering what an Amazon KDP means. So Amazon KDP simply means Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. In a layman's language, it is a self-publishing platform that allows authors to publish and sell their ebooks on the Amazon Kindle store. Now it gets interesting because even if you are not an author, you can still sell books on the Kindle store. You can sell books like fiction, non-fiction, children books, playbooks, travel guides, cookbooks, and many more this is a great idea for you if you're already a very good writer in another video i'm going to be sharing with you how to publish your own book by yourself but for now let's move on to how to create and verify your amazon kdp account so let's move on to my story right here so you want to make sure you go directly to the amazon kdp website i'm going to click type in amazon kdp enter and as you can see amazon kindle direct publishing i want to click on it and if you already have an Amazon account, you can sign in using your Amazon account or you sign up for an Amazon account. Since if you are new to KDP, you can use your Amazon login to register. Just sign in with your existing Amazon login or create a new account. So I want to create a new account. So now your first name, my first name is Adeshala. The email, let me rent a password. So here it has sent me an, an OP, OTP to verify my account. So I'm going to quickly verify my account by logging into Gmail right here. OTP right here. Copy. Right. This is my Amazon account that I am creating. So I just have to agree. So you can see your account information is incomplete. This is where the work begins. So you want to make sure you've created an Amazon Kindle account now you want to complete your information which is where it gets really tricky so enter i need to impute my phone number there three continue so now this is where you fill in all your details individual date of birth 14th 05 1996 Country or region, Nigeria. Okay, legal name. I'm going to type in my legal name. Additional address, Lagos, postal code 101, phone. So if you're in United States, you can click on United States. If you have a check-in or a saving account, you can put this in. Okay, but if you click on, I do not have, I do not have a bank. It says you are set up to receive payment for sales across Amazon places. Customer transactions made in all marketplaces, blah, 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 blah. We'll notify you by email if there are any issues into your paying bank. So here you just have to check the payment and see the marketplaces that you are going to be getting your money from. So if you have a bank, if you have a bank, you can just fill in your bank. Account. Personally, for this section, what I did was I used my husband's bank okay because my husband doesn't live in nigeria so he has a bank in where it is right so i just used i just imputed his own bank information now complete your tax information you have save and continue rights so now this is where it gets really really tricky if you are a youtuber you know that when you were filling the whole access account we went to the tax information stuff and if you do not have treaty with the US, we get 30% of whatever we make 
in a month, okay? But after I discovered this, and after I realized I could use my husband's account, because in where he stays, they have treaty with the U.S., and because he already paid tax, it's very easy for me to use his details. So it means that whatever money I make will go back directly into his account, and I can get it. My husband's money is my money. And my money is my money. Okay. Yeah. So what kind of classification is it? Business? Is it individual? So individual. Are you a US citizen? US permanent resident? Blah, 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 blah. No. Because even my husband isn't. Are you acting as an intermediary person? Or as a flow to? No. So even if you are using someone else's account, just click on no throughout. Full name, select social citizen. So here from the full name, what I did was to change the name to my husband's name. So let's say his name is Adeola and his son name is Tolu. Okay. So country of citizenship. What I did here was to include my husband country of citizenship. Right. I'm going to use Canada. Okay. Let's say Canada. Where's Canada here? Yeah. Canada obviously has a treaty with USA. So I'm going to click on Canada. And all I have to do here is to impute the non-US state. If you're a Canada resident and you already paid tax, you can just impute your TIN here. If you're a Nigerian and you impute your TIN here, you are not going to get discount. So that is basically what you have to do on this page right here. And immediately you will get verified. I got verified instantly. But if you check out this box, it says if no TIN is provided, any deduction of the 30% statutory withholding tax will apply to your US source payment will not apply. So it means that if you do not impute your TIN, especially when you have a treaty with, when your country has a treaty with US, if you do not impute it, they would still deduct the 30%. But if you click on I have a US TIN, you can impute it. It means you are paying taxes to the US government already. So if you click on here, you just impute your TIN and you click on continue. So they verify it. You impute your name. If you impute this, you click on the country of tax resident, Nigeria, and then you confirm. You do not appear to be eligible for the treaty benefit. Now let me click on Canada. Confirm. You are eligible for treaty benefit. Now your name, I said, my name is Tolu Adiola, right? but this is wrong, so submit form. Now I'm going to be showing you my own Amazon Kindle account, so you can understand what I'm saying a little bit more. <laughs> And this, yeah, this is what my own account looks like. And you can see my country or region is South Africa because that is where my husband stays. So what I did was that I basically included my husband details from the beginning to the end, his name, his address, his postal code, and his phone number. So for the tax document, as you can see, applicable with, with holding rate is, is zero percent because I am not going to be debited the 30% whenever I make money from Amazon Kindle Publishing. So if you have, if your partner is in a country where they pay, he, he, pays, he or she pays tax already, you can just take, take an advantage of that. So yeah, that's pretty much everything when it especially comes to providing your tax information. So this is it. This is tax information interview. This is go paper and this is which I had already finished. I don't want to open it. As you can see, I filled out this form January 5 and it was successful. So to get paid, I would also be receiving my payment in my husband's account and you can give it to me or use it to carry games. Okay, whatever it is. So come to the end of this video. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also turn on the notification bell right beside you so you can get excited when I post similar content related to this one. Until then, stay safe, stay fabulous, and I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Cuánto tiempo tengo sin verte en ver. No quiero creerte cuando te fuiste quedó en